podcast. It's Christine Bertram, and I'm coming to you live from the hive on a Thursday night. <laughs> Today flew by, you guys. It was the first day <laughs> so far that I didn't feel like every five or 10 or 15 minutes I needed to be like checking and responding to emails. <laughs> Woo! So today was a special day because I had Carissa over and we worked on designing some cards and we got all of the cards done for the fun folds, which is in early March. And I'm excited because I can't wait to share these cards with you. Woohoo! Okay, so uh, Tyler called <laughs> at like three o'clock and he asked about what's going on tonight. And I, I said, I've got class. And he's like, so you work until when? And I'm like, well, I have class. He's like, well, you work until when? I'm like, no, I have class. <laughs> And he was trying to imply that it's work. And I'm like, no, it's not work, you guys. <laughs> like, Tyler, like, oh, yeah, I guess it is. But huh, it's fun having class, right? <laughs> That's not work. This is fun, happy times. So we are going to get right into the thick of our card making. But I want to make sure that I'm live. There's Tammy Steckling. Hi, Tammy. I'm looking for the video. Let's see where it is, and I'll be watching along with you in comments. There's Randy. Hi, Bonnie. And cards by Christine. Sometimes the notification, Black. there it is. I'm okay. Tammy Interesting. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Deanne. Okay. That took an odd amount of time to find that, but all of a sudden, there it was. So cool. Hi, Betty. All right. So I have a few announcements and updates before we get the party started. Um, I have the celebration board back there, but it's not full at the moment, so we won't be doing a drawing later. But I just wanted to remind you guys, hi Sharon, uh, hi Arliss, hi Linda, that throughout celebration time, if you place an order with me uh, through me to get some Stampin' Up! product, uh, for every $50, you get your name on the board. And so we just did the, the drawing. You guys, I had class yesterday at 1 o'clock. Hi, Chris Dudarenki. And I had eight people, and we did the drawing live during my first in-person live in the Hive class. <laughs> Hi, Sherry Martin. I didn't think about how I was going to say that, but it was my first afternoon class. And the general consensus was they want more afternoon classes oh my goodness so gotta think about if <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i said not till i officially am done at the job <laughs> hi laura <laughs> so yeah so we'll think about that but they really had a great time there the notification just popped up isn't that interesting so so it was a really good class and I just filled celebration board number five and so we're working on six and I had a couple people place orders today so um, I'll make sure I get their names. I got yours on there, Barb Johnson. I already put yours on. Hi, Shirley English. Uh, so I have a couple different announcements about new products that are available. Hi, Chris from Iowa. Um, so I have some cards to share with you for Happy Mail. I've got some fun folds to share with you. I've got the hand, pen, hand pen. So I did Tip Tuesday uh, live and after Tip Tuesday was done, I shared the hand pen card. So in case you guys didn't watch Tip Tuesday, you might not know what the hand penned cards are all about. So I'll share those as well. Hi, Cheryl Thomas from Ohio. <clears throat> Kelly had Technique Thursday today. So there's a bunch of things we're going to do before we get the monthly cards going. Um, and the monthly cards are all gone. You guys, I just counted up where I was at. I always try to count up before class. And there's none left. <laughs> so all 44 were accounted for. As of uh, um, Hilda Nell, you got the last set of cards. So um, she placed an order yesterday and she got this last set of cards. Hi, Kathy Groves. Hi, Jean Maxwell. So I'll flip the camera down. Hi, Christina. <clears throat> I'll flip this down so you guys can see. This was Kelly's Technique Thursday. Hi, Doris. Um, she did a quick, easy card, but it doesn't look uh, so quick and easy because it looks so elegant. What really speaks to this is the designer series paper. Hi, Kathy King. Um, so she used some of that New Horizons designer series paper, some brass butterflies, the window pane checkered um, ribbon, and just made a very simple, elegant, easy card. One that you can make really fast. Hi, Marsha Long. Hi, Janet Flanagan. So if you guys missed Kelly's Technique Thursday, oh, she stellaed the heck out of it. The whole top here is stellaed. I love it. So if you missed that, you can catch her Facebook Live replay in the video section of this page. Hi, Vicki. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> I appreciate hearing that. Um, happy mail that I got, you guys. This one came from um, Laura Sullivan. She sent me a beautiful little Valentine's Day card. 
Um, it is like this is all die cuts and then hearts on the inside XOXO and I love you more than chocolate. <laughs> so very pretty. I got this one from Anna Rebidou straight. Just opened it 10 minutes ago. So very pretty. She said that it was from a swap card and she couldn't remember where she got it, but she wanted to share it with me. Hi, Ann Bellinger. Uh, so this was an old Stampin' Up! die. I shouldn't say old, it's from a little while ago and this is a Stampin' Up! doily. This is that ornate, I think, ornate die set. <clears throat> Hi, Barbara Moynan. This one came from Marsha Coolibert. Hot off the press too, you guys. I just got this in the mailbox today. So she really showcased that designer series paper. You can get this paper free right now with a $50 purchase. It's the daffodil paper. And she added some um, of the pale papaya open weave ribbon onto it. She stellated all of her flowers. Hi, Judy Foskey. So that's the happy mail I got, you guys. So I can set that off to the side for now. And I wanted to share with you, let's see, all together. So from time to time, I would have to say twice a year, <laughs> I've got it down that they usually do it, Stampin' Up, I'm thinking, or thinking, or I'm referring to, um, in November. And then they usually did it in May. But because the catalog got, the new annual catalog is now going live in uh, May versus June. Hi, Jody, Jody Sturman. Hi, Julie Bierschbach. Hi, there's Julie Beershock. Haha, ha. I just saw your note come through, so I saw your name twice. Um, so they usually have pre-sales for some bundles that are going to be introduced in the new catalog. So in November, they usually do it for a set that's going to be in the spring catalog. And now in what month are we in? There is a new special promo that started February 4th or 1st or something. Hi, Millie Kindle. It's called All Together. And out of this collection, the blends are going to be carrying over. Hi, D. And there's another promotion with the Wave set that's going to be starting next month, which is a bundle that's going to be carrying over. But um, I don't want to confuse you guys much because <laughs> I get confused so easily too. And I usually confuse people a lot. Hi, Sarah. So I just want to show you the All Together products right now, which you can purchase right now. The Waves one, you can't purchase unless you're a demonstrator or a discount shopper. But the all together, I participated in a swap. And the swap is where I have some sample cards that I can show you. And I'm gonna show you what you can get in the collection right now. So the blends are gonna be carrying over and the bundle and the designer paper are not. So those are while supplies last. And I thought, well, I better share with this with you because if you guys remember that butterfly paper from last year, that butterfly paper was gone in a week or two and people were not happy. <laughs> so if this is something you're interested in, it's good now. You can get it on an order and get celebration credit for it. Hi, Margaret. Okay, not celebration credit per se, but like you could get a celebration item. So these are the blends I'm talking about. So they really got on board with the whole um, skin color collection here. So um, all these different lightnesses all the way to different darknesses of skin color. So they call these markers um, numbers. <laughs> SU800. <laughs> this one's uh, number two, SU900. Um, but on the bag is what it says. So light, and then there's, um, it's got to say it, medium light, and then there's uh, medium, and then I'm going to guess medium dark. And, yep, medium deep, and then there's a deep. Okay, so I got them in the right order now. Hi, France. Hi, Mary Ty. Hi, Julie. Okay, hi, Diane Rangi. So these are the different blends that you can get. And then there's also a set of, or a pack of designer paper, and it's all black and white. And what you can do is you can color in the images. Hi, Patricia Settle. And so there's a lot of different blacks and whites. You can color in. There's hands. More hands, different black and white patterns. I like this black with the little white hearts. You could color all those hearts red. So that's one side. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Sue. Hi, Hildenel. On the back side then, so this is available for purchase now. It's $11.50 for the pack of designer paper. And there's that. More black and white. Oh, look at that one. That one was cool. You could color all those other little hearts red if you wanted to. And then you've got... Some more black and white, more black and white, more black and white. So it's intended that the markers, you can use them to color in the different hands and such in the designer paper. So this pack's $11.50. Each of the blend combo packs is $9. 
And then there is an extra stamp set bundle that you can get to go with it. And so these are the stamps, and then these are the dies. And so the dies would cut out the two hands, and the words are here for you, and you matter, and then there's hearts. So you can buy the bundle, you can buy the whole collection, you can buy just the markers, you can just get the paper, you can get whatever you want, all a cart or as a collection. And the markers continue to the annual catalog, and everything else, these things are while supplies last. So let's look at some swap cards that I got, you guys. So this is one from Jeanette Swain, and she took that, the designer paper that was in this pack here, and she cut a little three by three section and she colored the four different arms different colors. The white here on the black paper is embossed with the white embossing powder, and then two strips of designer paper, and then a little red heart. So, um, so that's the one card from Jeanette. This one is from Judy Garza. Yep, Judy Garza. So she took a strip of the designer paper that was in there. She painted all the nails red, you guys. She really did. She took a marker. I don't know if you guys can see, every little fingernail is red. So they're all red. And then I promise we'll get through this together and a little faux espresso bow. Okay, so there's that. And then here's another one. This one was from Marissa Alvarez. Here's the, that die cut looks like. It says, you matter. And then there's a couple different hearts. Here she die cut out the, hi, Carmen Melendez. Um, she die cut out the hands, put some extra layers on the back, some classic matte dots. I made it look like the sun shining. And this is the one that I made. I colored my fingernails red too. And then love changes everything is on this one. I used some of the red satin ribbon, some red rhinestones, painted textures and then some designer paper, and then every act of kindness changes the world with a little heart. That was mine. I have one here from Bonnie Schmitz. She used some of that rose gold um, um, metallic paper, I guess is maybe what it's called. Hi, Marsha. Um, and then she colored her hands, added some champagne rhinestones, which pulled out this um, background. Hi, Tommy. And then she used some layering circles. And so that was, hi, Karen. I'm Bonnie Schmitz. This last one here I have is from Sarah Simon. You guys, she did a little bit of a fun fold here. And she did the same thing with coloring in the heart with the blue. She painted the fingernails too. And this is one of those where it, it it's a fun fold. So you have to, so it's, it cuts flat. You got to um, score and die, um, cut here on the edges. And then it, like that it pops up like that so very very pretty hi mary joe hi sue thomas from ohio so those are what i got for some samples of cards um you can buy this product now um, um if you're a demonstrator you can get it from yourself if you're a happy customer and you want to get any of this product through me if you use the host code you could use it towards a future upcoming class that you can get for free with a purchase so Thanks for sharing, everybody. I appreciate it. A bunch of you guys have commented that you've shared the video. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. Okay, so that's all together. Um, I will be putting the flyer on my newsletter section of my website. So if you go to blog and news, I have a flyer and I can upload it there. And then it allows you to open up the PDF attachment. So I will get that out there. Um, yeah, they, they, they're so cute, these different cards. Um, okay, so that's all together. So they were awesome, weren't they? Everybody did such a fabulous job. So, all right, let me flip back down. So that was, um, I have a list here, you guys. That was all together, so we did that. Okay, so in case you missed on Tip Tuesday, you guys, these are, hi, Barb Johnson from Missouri. Um, these are the hand penned. So in case you missed this, I I went and op I showed these on the tip Tuesday. So this is the next ink, paper, scissors. So I know we just did the bloom one. The bloom one was technically for January. So this is the ink, paper, scissors for February. It features hand penned petals, um, the designer paper, the genial gems, the soft succulent ribbon. And so this is the class where it's a product based class and you get paper, embellishments, ribbon, and the four card kits in your whole goodie bag package and you keep everything extra that you don't use um, to make other things or to make more additional cards. And so if you're wondering about stamps, um, the hand penned petals, let me go grab it really quick in case you guys wanna see the stamp set. Okay, so 
I have this general feeling that a lot of people have flowery stamps because I think that's what we're, I don't know, maybe that's just me, I'm drawn to flowers, but um, if you don't wanna buy the stamp set and you have something similar, you could get by. Basically, I used all of the four sentiments on each of the cards. So thanks, congratulations, fear, feel better, friend, and anything is possible. So you would need sentiments, but then the main thing is there's these two flowers right here, and that's what got stamped here and here, so twice, and then this one. And what I give you in this kit is a quarter sheet of white paper, which is big enough for you to stamp these three things on. And so if you don't have hand pen petals, if you have something similar, you could work with whatever you have, um, but you would need some sort of stamps. This card right here, that's actually a die cut. And then I used a marker to color behind on the white uh, mother of pearl. So just a little heads up, that's what we've got going on. And then that's the inside for that one. Um, this one is just a white inside. This one is a little bit of a different fold. So this flips up and it looks like that on the inside. And this class is $30 for a porch pickup or $36 for um, mailing. And then this one actually opens like this and then like that. And then you have your white inside here. So um, I'm telling you guys this one because two weeks from tonight is this class. And I am taking signups now. So it's better to sign up ahead of time to make sure you get it if you want it. If you don't, that's okay. But if you are interested, I'm planning for about, I, have, I haven't prepped the card kits yet, but I have it in my head a certain number of how many, and then once they're gone, they're gone. So I have about 10 sets of this left in my head. So that's the hand-penned ink, paper, scissors. And then you guys, so I'm so excited, fun folds. Are you guys ready to see the fun folds Krista and I made today? So fun. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back down. So we featured um, four different, um, bundles for this and I'm gonna see if I can tell you guys the dates um I think I have a, oh I got a schedule here hang on so I have let's see here fun folds class is inquiring minds want to know I know that some of you are hardcore fun folds um <laughs> addicts with me so it's March 7th in person March 9th in person Saturday, March 5th in person. You guys, I have three in person of this because I generally have like 30 people that take this in person. And then I have March 10th. So March 10th is not next week, not the following week, not the following, but the following. So it's about four weeks. So um, if you guys want, this class is one that you can get for free with a purchase. So if you're thinking about getting some more items during celebration, this is a card class you can pick because when you pay for um, product, and you want to get a class for free. It can be in the current month or it could be the future month. And we're in February. So you guys could sign up for card classes that are free for March already. So this is a March class. So that's kind of exciting in case you are looking for another class to sign up. So I'm going to flip down here and we're going to start with this one. All right. So, so there is a stamp set called Seize the Day. And okay, I have a disclaimer on this too. Normally, my fun folds card is the classes in February, and I usually use celebration paper on the fun folds card because I like to use a lot more um, paper. Uh, and how it got into the planning of the dates and times, it ended up being about the first week of Feb March. So, my disclaimer is this class is right after celebration ends but I am using Celebration product, but I am promoting this class all month <laughs> yet while Celebration is in full swing. Just know that I am using Celebration product for this class, even though it will be retired. I talked to Chris about it and we're like, these cards just came together so great with using Celebration product. It was so much fun that we're like, we're going with it. So just so you guys know, okay? So let me flip back down. So this is the um, Seize the Day, which is in the mini catalog. So this is the marble paper from Celebration and this card opens like this. So we've got a little bit of a fun fold where it goes like a ziggy zag like that. And if you don't have the Seize the Day, we thought about this, we're like, well, everybody will get a, a die cut out octopus that is white. And you could in essence take a sponge 
and sponge ink all over and you just wouldn't have the detail of the octopus but you could still do that or you could use something else <laughs> so there you go so and it uses the marble paper and some painted texture so that's fun fold number one and fun fold number two is a pocket card and it features the daffodil daydream bundle with the daffodil paper and so pocket card um, I made mine into an Easter card you could do Mother's Days in that set, or you could do it. This is a pretty sympathy card, or you could do birthday. And so then your little pocket comes out, and you've got all those pretty daffodils in the background. So cool. If I was like Marsha, what I would do, <laughs> she had, oh man, that always does that. I don't understand why that, <laughs> but Marsha went through and she stellaed all of her little daffodil heads here. So. Um, celebration ends February 28th, Brenda. Hi, Dar. Okay, so that's, that is um, Funfold's card number two, and it's the daffodil. And then this one, I cased this card, or I should say we cased this card from, so this one was cased from a Michelle Heim card. This was cased from a Sandy Carlson card, and then this was cased from Carol Alanis. So Carol, if you're watching, we cased your card you had an awesome Christmas card that you gave everybody a Starbucks gift card. And so this features the Hello Friendly. You guys, I haven't embellished any of these yet. These are right off the press. We haven't even, I have to add embellishments to all of these cards yet. Otherwise, they're pretty much done. Um, and then this pulls out like this. And it says, no one deserves a happier birthday than you. And so you've got like this little back. And then we use staples. Oh, Chrissy used tear and tape, but I use staples on mine. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Debbie. <clears throat> so, and that just sneaks right down there. And then you are a real blessing to everyone around you. So if you don't have the specific sentiments, you would be fine um, doing whatever sentiment and little accessories on your tag. Otherwise, everything is included for you. So that one we thought was so fun and exciting. And then lastly, you guys, oh, drum roll, okay? So Carissa, I'm going to say it wrong. It's the swallow set. Soaring swallows or swallow something. Hi, Leslie. So, okay. So this is, uh, we cased Jill Butzine's card. So, but we used all different stamps and paper. And so that goes up like that. That one goes like that. And that goes like that. Okay. So these are a little bit more simple fun folds. But then when we got to this last one, we went no holes barred and we just went to town on it. There's Carissa. She loves her swallows. And she let me have all the purple in the world on this one because we did more blue and blue for her. And then we, we she gave me purple. And so we used that, oh, Carissa, um, the, yeah, that big background stamp for that one. <laughs> so um, you'll need a sentiment something to stamp here because this is a stamp and then a sentiment. So the birds will be all good die cut out for you. Um, yeah, it's a very cool easel card. Definitely, Laura. So you'll need a sentiment, sentiment, and then something to stamp here because this is a stamp. So this, you guys, completes the fun fold series that is in the beginning half of March. And I'm telling you this because the earlier you can sign up even if you don't know if you're going to place an order or pay the fee all i need to do is get your name on the list for class if i get your name on the list for class you're guaranteed a spot you can always cancel it if you want to but it helps me to pre-plan the die cutting and the embossing and then the card prepping and so i have in my head how many i think i'm going to need but if it ends up being like more people want it, I have to end up saying no at the end. So it's always better. And I appreciate it if you guys just let me know you want to take a class. And all you have to do to tell me to sign up is say, I want to take that class. Email me, text me, Facebook message me. I make it super simple. All you got to do is tell me. And then we'll figure out the rest later. If we haven't figured it out by the time I need to mail the kits, you will be hearing from me and be like, what are you going to do? <laughs> so that's how that goes, you guys. So that's fun folds. So I'm so excited. I generally do two fun fold classes a year, sometimes three, um, and I usually do it in February and October, but this one got pushed to March. So, hi, Melody. So, all right, you guys. Hi, Susie Snow. Oh, they were fun. It was so fun. And then the other thing we worked on today is we were working on the Memories and More um, 
Honey Bee Blessings, uh, Heart and Home, the Heart and Home uh, class for Memories and More, which is later next month too. Hi, Jean Terwilliger. Okay, um, the other thing too, you guys, real quick before I let us start stamping is this is the Celebration Celebration next week. This is another one that you can get free with an order. So um, sometimes my classes are free with an order. Sometimes you can pay the fee and sometimes you can only pay the fee. So if you're ever confused and you're not knowing what's going on, <laughs> pick up the phone and call me <laughs> and we'll figure it out. So um, so Jean Terwilliger, I ask that you, if you guys want to take classes, I love when you write it in here because I see it. Um, but to help me remember, I always appreciate a follow-up with an email, a text, or a... Um, a Facebook message so I can get you on my class sign up sheet. So, okay, that was that. So, fun folds. Um, oh, heart and home hand penned. Okay, um, you guys, the heart and oops, flipped the heart and home is next week. And if you haven't seen those, uh, they're over there. I'll, I can go get them if we need to, but I think I have about eight spots left for the heart and home. And they will be gone by next week, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> because as soon as I'm done making those cards, they will be gone. Um, the purple one is so awesome. So many pieces, though. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. All right, so um, the sign-up special, you guys. Around 5 o'clock, I had an email that was scheduled that went out to everybody. Uh, just to remind you about the great sign-up special that's going on right now, if you want to get Stampin' Up! products at a discount with 20% off, uh, now is a good time to do it, because you not only get $125 worth of product, for $99, you get two free stamp sets and you get a past paper pumpkin in your kit. Um, and it's a good deal. You get free shipping too. Coming in late, Sandy, flying in by the seat of your pants, right? Um, so the sign up special is awesome. Uh, it's a great time. Your first quarter is waived. So if you don't want to place any orders to get stuff for yourself, you don't really have to do your quarterly minimum until. June 30th. So you almost at this point have four and a half months before you'd really need to do your quarterly minimum, which is $300. And you get a 20% discount on that. So, and I would love for you to be a Be Happy Stamper because we are an awesome community of crafters and stampers. So if you guys have any questions or want follow-up from that email that I sent, just reach out to me and I can help you with that. So Okay. I feel like I talked really, really fast through that. Holly, <laughs> how are you doing? So, um, do I, so Marsha asked, do you mail out card kits? Um, yeah. So whole, she just asked about a PDF too. I, I just saw a comment come through. Uh, so when you take a class with me, if it's either paid for via a fee or if you get it for free with an order, uh, that's how you get card kits. If you want to watch me all day long doing Facebook Live videos, it's free. You guys, I, you, I never charge for my Facebook Lives. They're free. You can, But if you want to make cards or get any of my card kits, you can pay for them or you can get them free with an order depending on which class it is. And with that, you always get a PDF tutorial of my online classes. So I send the PDF tutorial out usually by Monday or Tuesday before the class. Um, if I'm on my A game, it's the week before, but usually it's the Monday or Tuesday and then class is Thursday. Uh, so you have it ahead of time. And um, yeah, so it includes the PDF tutorial, which has pictures, measurements, and written instructions on how I assemble the card. So yeah, so that's what you get. And you get the, vi the video to watch and ask me questions while we're in class. So yay, good question, Marsha. Um, yeah, the main thing is always just to let me know if you want to take a class with me and which class, and then we figure out the rest after that. And there's many different ways that we can cover the class, um, with payment or with order. So yay. On that note, I think we're ready. So it's the monthly card making class. It's February, you guys. I have no idea where the last four weeks went. Crazy, <laughs> but they go. And I think that February is going to fly just as fast as the last month did, unfortunately. Um, so the February, so the monthly card making class is a bread and butter class, I guess you could say for me. I have been doing this class probably since 2015 every month. Three cards, three different stamp sets that are featured. And um, I try to keep the cards all like kind of different themed so that they're not all feminine cards. I try to mix it up a little bit. So like in the case for tonight, we have like a, a, a feminine wedding-ish one or like a wedding-ish one. And then there's the gumball one, which is kidsy. And then a, a girly-ish one, I guess you could say with the rainbows and sunshine. So hi, Karen Wetstein. So I try to mix it up with the different genre or occasion for the cards. So 
Oh, you're very welcome, Marcia. So, so a bunch of you have done this already. So I just saw Elaine come through here. Hi, Mo. Elaine did this card on Monday night. So I do this card as my monthly club as well. So the club girls get to make this class or these cards on the second Monday. And so um, we did this class last night. I did it yesterday afternoon. And so you guys are my fourth class. So you're not guinea pigs by any means. <laughs> and I have one more on a Saturday, but I had to cap it at five people because I don't have any card kits left. And I am not making more, you guys. I'm on the, under the next thing. So where do we want to start? Do we want to do, I, I, I feel like, I feel like we should do the gumball first because I have a little disclaimer to tell you. I have a I have a little thing that we figured out in class on Monday night. Um, nothing that's bad, but we have to fix something that I incorrectly did a little die cutting uh, because I did this die cutting on the fly um, and I did it too low. But we can make up for it and we're good. So I'm gonna we're gonna start with the gumballs, you guys. Oh, my Carmen's cards are already done already. I love it. So hopefully, Carmen, you figured out the red piece for the gumball machine. Uh, so um, Arliss, yes, if you want to do the fun folds, please um, Facebook message me so I can add you to the class list. Okay, so we're going to flip this down, and we're going to go right to our gumballs. So let's show you guys what we have here with gumballs and the frosted beads. So I will be completely and 110% honest with you. When I started working on designing this card, oh, we didn't do roll call. We gotta do roll call, hang on. So, uh, and then I'll tell you about the color color, the color chart. So, all right, for class night, we have 19 people, 20 people actually, 20 people. So we have Angela Knutson, we have Cheryl Taylor, Mo Stites, Sandy Wicklander, Deanna Stahl, Kathy King, Leslie McMinn, Sharon Roosh, Barb Barkow, Kathy Groves, Dee Serena, Sue Somerville, Carmen Melendez, who's already done with all of her cards, Tammy Steckling, Barb Moynan, Annette Rollin, Lynn Beasley, Kathy McMahon, Mahan? Mahan, McMahon, Jeannie Parker, Hilda Nell Vilches. So boom, boom, all of you guys um, are signed up for class tonight and you should have gotten your card kits. Um, most of you, Jeannie, we're holding on to yours for a second. Cheryl's still getting picking hers up actually next month. But so most of you have yours by now. And so when I was working on this card, I actually went to the catalog. Let's see if I have it. Oh, I have it right here. Hang on. So I went to the catalog and like, I knew I wanted to do the gumballs for this card, like for this class, but I didn't know. So it's called gumball greetings. I didn't know colors or what I had in my head. So I went to page 12 and I looked for the catalog to get inspiration. And I saw this card and I'm like oh okay I think I can work with that and that's what I do a lot I look through to get ideas and so if you look at well let's see where I have the cards oh right here so if you look at my card I kind of case this but I you can see I didn't do the colors but I kind of went with the tag on the side which I really liked and then the white is kind of the same but um I knew it was gonna be red and I wanted to use granny apple green because I had an abundance of this this color paper left from all the other classes I did. I had a lot of that one left. And this is three inches. So you only get two out of a six by six. This is the rainbow paper you can get for free with celebration. And so I thought, oh, I had a stack of it like that much. So I thought, perfect. So I had red and I had green. And I thought to myself, what color goes with granny apple and real red? So you guys, I went to the color charts. So um, Stampin' Up! produces color charts and I made them available to you in my website. So if you go to cardsbycrispy.com and if you go to my blog and news and then the newsletters and files section, I have a link here for the, I know you can't read this, but it says color coach charts and in color coach charts. One's in colors, one's regular and it's a PDF. So you click on the link and it opens up a, P a PDF. So you would be very proud of me, Carissa, because Carissa, <laughs> Carissa printed off all the color charts and she put them in her page protectors and has them in a binder. Well, I have access to, to it on my website. So I pulled it up and I saw on there that Granny Apple and Real Red were listed with Knight of Navy. So that's how we got Knight of Navy on here. And I thought, oh, I'm so excited. The colors, it's just a perfect kind of like boy, a little boy card because of the colors. So I was very happy to, to share with you guys. I use my in color charts that are on my website. Woohoo! Okay, so 
So that's what we got going on is the Knight of Navy, Granny Apple, and then the Real Red and silver foil here. And then the background here is embossed with the splatter, splatters. Um, hi, Kathleen from Florida. The splatters embossing folder. All right, you guys, in your kits too, I did not want to waste. So when you have three inches by five, you have an inch left at the top. So everybody got a little sliver of designer paper to go with a little sliver of regular granny to put on your inside. So we got to have some extra paper for decorating. Okay, so that's a little bit about the card and what we use for materials. So um, where does my disclaimer come in? <laughs> so let's, you guys have lots of little bits and parts in here. So in your kit, you'll have your white envelope. And then in your white envelope, you'll have your Knight of Navy base, which you guys could take your bone folder and burnish it because I didn't do that for you. So that's your card base. And then you'll have your white and your granny apple are the same size, four by five and a quarter. One's your inside, one's an outside mat, okay? Designer paper is three by five. That goes there. Um, apparently, I didn't give myself a little sliver of granny apple green. Oh, nope, that's the sample card. So um, you have this half inch by five and a quarter, which is going on your inside. Apparently, I didn't give myself a little sliver of granny apple, but I know you guys did. This is your background for your machine. You have all these die cut pieces. So thank you, my Aunt Karen. <laughs> Kelly's mom did all the die cutting of these pieces. So you should have these four pieces here. So the red, the red, the red, and a silver. You should have a tag that is a little bit shorter. So the tailor-made tag actually is this big. But because the sentiment is small, we actually cut that off. And then, oh man, I'll show you how to make a bow. But I made all your bows and your kits for you guys. So your bows are made. And then this is my disclaimer, you guys. So I did die cut your opening here. And then I embossed the piece. You can see the splatters embossing folder. Isn't that cool? So the thing is, when I die cut, I die cut your piece about a quarter of an inch lower than I should have, okay? So we were in class on Monday night and um, Barb Collins says to me and Bonnie says to me, um, these are too low. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap, oh man. So we figured out a fix for it because these are the domes everybody got in their kit. You also got a little poly bag of the little frosted beads. So when you're looking at the dome, there's a thinner side so this is thinner than this. It's like less wide. I should say less wide and wide. And so that thinner one goes at the top. So when you set your dome in here and then you prep the thing here, you can see it's gonna hang off the bottom edge of the paper. So you can see by that much, it's gonna hang off. And that's not so cool. <laughs> so Barb Collins was like, well, what if we just trim off a little of this top layer, of this X, this top? And we're like, ooh, that's going to work. So for anybody that has not made their cards yet, most likely that is the case. There was only one out of all of the people in class so far that was up like that high. So if this happens to you, what you do is you just put your dome in and see how much it's kind of hanging over the edge. Because as long as you put your dome as high up as you can, you're going to have goo like sticking there, but you can look to see how much needs to get cut off and you're going to cut a little bit more than that so that you can still see a little white bottom. So it's not going to be perfectly centered top to bottom, but you guys, it's all going to be okay. It's just naughty Nancy would say it's just paper and we can make it work. So you can see I'm cutting off about an eighth of an inch. That's how much I cut off you guys. So from the top, not the bottom, okay? So when you cut that off and you put your dome back in here and you set this here, now you can see there's some white on the bottom and it's all good. And then when you put your little top here, hi, Cindy, hi, Feline. So when you put your top up here, you still do see a little more white up there than the bottom. It's okay. Whoever you give this to is not gonna know that you meant for it to go up a little higher. So. But that's my little hiccup we had with this little guy. It's all about the die cutting and it just needed to be up a hair. And 
Whew, yeah, that's how that worked. But we make do and we fixed it. So, all right. I hope that made sense to everybody that got these card kits from me that um, that's how it works. Now, if you're not excited about that, I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> that's all I can say. Hi, Susan Reed. Okay, so let's do a little bit of assembly with this guy. So these little domes have a sticker on the top and the bottom. And what we're gonna do first is you have to peel that. So I have a fingernail, so that works. If you don't have a fingernail, grab a pokey tool and you can grab, it's an easy fix. You're so correct, Cindy. And I'm so happy the gals in class thought of that. So you can see, I just used a picky tool to get that off of there. And what's now is it's sticky. It's sticky on the top of the dome. And when you put this, um, Tammy, they were loose in your packaging. Tammy, did you look in your package? Every card kit had a dome and beads in a little plastic baggie on top of the card kits. I hope you didn't throw away your package because it is in your package in the bottom of your package. I know for sure that they went in your kit or in your package. Can you go into your garbage and get your purple package and look in the package? You will find it. I am 90% sure you will find it. I even want to say 99% sure. Every card kit had it on the top. It went in it. I promise you. So it was not in the envelope with your card kits because this dome is so thick. I did not want to wreck the envelopes. It was in a poly bag. Um, I'm going to show you. What do we got? Jeannie Parker's. I'm going to show you in a second here, Tammy, what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to flip this back down. So you would have had Tammy in your package. It was like this. And so you had a poly bag with the dome and the frosted beads. And I am guessing this is still in your package that you probably put in the garbage and you probably just grabbed your card kits like this. So this is, I promise, every card kit had this on top of it. So it has to be in your package. Like that's the only like logical thing. I know that happened to, I think Deanna Stell one time. Back in, what, what class was that, Deanne? Your designer paper from, was it Stamparatus 101 class last May or June? You were missing the designer paper and it was still in your envelope, in your padded envelope in the garbage. So you found it. Hi, Lynn Beasley coming in late from Utah. So when you guys have that little sticker off, um, you have to make sure that goes up as high as it can. And when you put it in here, you just wanna make sure that your dome is going straight. There is wiggle room for it to go back and forth like this. Um, you want to make sure you have extra gap here because that's where this is going to go. So Lynn, uh, not Lynn. Now, Tammy, if you go to your bag and you can't find it, I'll send you one in your next. I can send you a dome and I can send you the beads, but I want to say that it's probably in your kit. So, all right. So once you have the dome there, then what you can do is come to the back here and you're going to pick off that. And for those that have the little baggie, all you have to do is pour all your little gumballs in there. Now, Judy Immel did save two of her gumballs and she actually glued her two little gumballs down in the inside here. Um, so she made it look like gumballs were coming out. So just a little note, you can do that. You guys, these things will run all over the floor if you lose them. <laughs> okay, so you don't need a lot. Something like that is all we need. And then what happens is you have this piece of white paper. Yours and your kit was about two and a half by two and a half. And you're just gonna put that over the top. And because you pulled that waxy thing off, you just have now a sealed, it's all sealed up. So, and I, that, that was about, a, hmm, the whole bottom was kind of full. I believe that's about how much got put in everybody's kits. All right, so. Now, we have here a little Stella ink to do. We're gonna get her off of her break really quick. And it's easier to Stella this outline. Uh, be <laughs> My Stella pen just, there it is. So it's easier to Stella this while it is um, not glued down because otherwise you'll get the glittery all over the base, all right? So we're stella -ing this outline and then I'm also, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna Stella the top for now. And we'll do that. 
So in case you guys are wondering, Stella pen, it's called Wink of Stella, is a glitter pen. It's controlled glitter. It's really hard to see it in a camera. Oh, there, you can kind of see it shimmery. Shimmery a little bit, that is the glitter in it. So if you guys <laughs> have this die set at home, the die set is awesome. Uh, the die set has all of these pieces. And if you have it and you want to make more of this, what I would advise, get some of that sticker adhesive sheet so that you make that into a sticker. But <laughs> I don't mind liquid glue. Um, and what I do is I just put a thin little layer just in random spots around here, just like this. I don't try to do the whole thing. And I don't do this with it down flat on paper because I feel like it'll get my work surface full of glue. And then when you have this, you have to just flip it over and you have to be secure with it. Just put it down. You cannot wiggle it around because that glue will get wiggled all over the place. So even with cutting a little of that off the top, you still will be okay with this piece. Okay, so it's all right. It still worked out good. So that little bit of glue, just wipe some of that off. And then you have this little guy that still opens up. And then these two things we're gonna pop up with dimensionals. So we're gonna put a couple of the big ones on there and I wanna use two small ones on this. And so when you pop this up, you wanna have it nice and close to the plastic because you can see there is a gap right there. And you don't want to put it above the gap. You want to put it so that this little topper is kind of just touching the gumball machine. Or the, oh, the glass, I guess you could call it. And then this one, same thing. You're going to put this one up high because you have all that exposed goo right there. So if you put that up high and have it nice and snug against the, the dome, that should work. All right. Then you have this silver piece right here. And I, nope, oh, perfect. I thought I maybe put mine upside down, but I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple, uh, let's do a combination of a couple big ones and a couple small ones. And I did pop this little silver up and that little circle thing, that's where your coin goes in right there. That needs to go at the top and that fits right underneath there. So. A little bit more snug but it still looks good okay so compared to my sample this one has a little bit more red up there because of not having to cut it off so all right so that's kind of set for now we can go ahead and let's get some stamping done so hi Ethel King the only ink color for this card is Knight of Navy and in the gumball greeting set there is a happy valentine's day so somebody made this into a valentine's day card i have here may your day be filled with all the best things but then i want to make it a birthday card so i pulled in sunny sentiments and that is hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things well that's oh my gosh you guys they're almost the same may your day be filled with all the best hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things okay so you could use that or in the next card, I actually pulled, let's see if it's here, yes. I have uh, from Sweet as a Peach. We're gonna use that in the next card. We're just gonna put happy birthday on the inside. Okay, so our tag is here and I'm gonna grab a piercing mat because I'm using a photopolymer stamp. So I'm gonna just ink this up. And then when I stamp this, you guys, I'm gonna stamp it near the top. I don't care about anything on the bottom. So get this close to the hole and then remember to let your ink marinate. Okay, perfect. And then either you can use a scissors and trim this off or you could use, if you don't trust yourself with a scissors, you could definitely use a paper trimmer, but I'm just cutting that off. So it depended on if you have a little bit bigger of a saying you can. Um, you had a little more room, so that's good. And now our inside here, so that little green strip is gonna go there. Um, in this set, there's actually a gumball machine. 
And so we had to get the gumball machine out and put that in the bottom right corner because we want to have a focal image. And then I've got happy birthday to you. So whatever sentiments you guys want though. So I'm putting this as a guide. So I don't want to stamp it right in the middle because I have a little bit of ink or um, paper going on over here. So I'm going to stamp it more to the right than centered. Okay. So this stamp is from Sweet as a Peach, which is actually, I'm using it in the rainbow card next. Okay. So in your kit, you guys, I included a strip of granny apple green, a half inch. So you're going to want to glue that down first and then the designer paper over the top. I'm not going to go searching for my half inch strip. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going to go straight for the designer paper and put that right, <clears throat> right on the left. And I'm going to leave a white little margin just to have it, I don't know, pop a little more. Okay. And then that gets glue and then this guy gets glue. So I'm going to flip both these over and then... We're gonna adhere these to our card. So this one is from the Rainbows of Happiness or the Sunshine of Rainbows designer paper. It's just a three by five. So that goes there. And then this one is our inside. And that can go in here. I never knew how much I liked Granny Apple Green with Night of Navy until I made this card. <laughs> okay. Then this gets flipped over and this gets flipped over and we can put a little more glue. Hi, Alice from Indiana. A little bit more glue here. And then this is gonna get glued. So we got those prepped. And then this. I know, Anne, I just, I was blown away by how pleasing these three colors are together. It just was amazing. Okay, so then this I have more to the right so that I can see more designer paper on the left-hand side. And so I tried to do the same margin on the left, oh, excuse me, the top, the bottom, and the right. Okay, and then my little tag, I'm going to use the dimensionals for that. I'm going to grab a couple, maybe two of them, and then put those kind of off to the side like that, that little tag. And then you guys a bow. <laughs> so I made all your bows for you. So you don't have to worry about making your bow, but <laughs> hopefully I gave myself enough here. This is the Baker's twine that comes in the Hay Sports Fan suite of products. And I'm gonna just make my little bowsy. <laughs> See, I didn't give myself a lot of wiggle room, but I am okay, I got it. Okay, so. The bow makers, you guys, I've, I've sold probably 15 of them in the last three weeks. So um, I do have them uh, available if anybody's interested in bow makers. They make making bows so enjoyable. You guys, I made all the bows on the way home from Stevens Point on Sunday for my in-person people, <laughs> my in-person class. So then the little glue dot holds our bow right there. And then I'm going to grab my ribbon scissors and just trim my tails ever so slightly. And we're almost done. Hi, Karen, joining a little late, but a little better late than never. The last thing I got on here are some polished dots in the petal pink, and they kind of match some of our gumballs. <clears throat> so these polished dots are part of the Symbols of Fortune suite of products. And so I've got, you guys have three of them in your card kits. Oh, Lynn, I'm glad you love your new bow maker. So anybody who gets a new bow maker for me, just be advised that you will probably need to use a pliers to pull out your nails. So your nails get stored on the side and the guy that makes them for me, he leaves them kind of tight to begin with so that, you know, as you use them, they start to get very wobbly. But the first time you use it, you gotta have a pliers nearby to help pull that out. So, and then we got one guy right there. So that's what I have for our gumball card, you guys. So you saw where I started with my catalog. 
I, I looked in the catalog for the inspiration. Let's see if I can grab it here. So again, that's kind of where I looked at this card and then I came up with that card. <laughs> so I um, had to change it up ever so slightly, but it's so fun, you guys. In class, people overall said that was their favorite card of the three cards we're gonna be making tonight. They, they just had so much fun with the gumball. So, and right now everything's available as far as I'm aware, like the frosted beads and the glass domes or these domes are available. So, all right, you guys, we got one done. Let's see what I wanna do. I'm gonna clean up these stamps and move it on out. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. So I get that you guys from washy, washy, washy. All right, so there's Knight of Navy. You guys, you get a bunch of domes. You get this whole jar full of them. And so you get a bunch. I, I had to guess, you guys, when I put these in your poly bags, um, when I put these in your poly bags, I got about nine or 10 for each person. So for nine or 10 cards, like for about this many gumballs, it was about a third of the way full is how that worked out. All right, so done, 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 done with this. And this card can go right there. And I think we're going to do the rainbows next. Sunshine and rainbows. Sunshine. All right. So the next card uses, it doesn't really use a lot of it. So we talked about sweet as a peach. That's where I got the happy birthday from. And then for this one, for in class, I had people, they have the ability to use thanks so much or happy birthday. So we're going to use thank you on this one. And the colors are Bermuda Bay, polished pink, and there's hearts, there's raindrops, you need a sponge dauber. I did pull in my eighth inch hole punch, you guys. I did punch all these tags a little hole with my eighth inch hole punch, so that was done for you already. Um, the clouds. So in this card, there's four clouds. They came from this brilliant rainbow dies. Thanks everybody. I'm glad you guys like the shaker card and that you love the color combination. That's awesome. Um, so this is the bundle and I didn't really use a lot besides the sentiment, the raindrops and the hearts. And so, um, layering circles was used here to cut out the circle and you guys, the gumball card here has the splatters embossing folder. It's a pair. You get the stripes and the splatters in the same bundle of embossing folders. You get two of them. And they're each three inches wide. And so they work good when you have like a three inch section. Okay, so let's go back. All right, so that's about it that I've got in here to share with you about stuff. The, the designer paper. This is one of the designer papers. Again, it's the rainbow, just like the last card. It's one that you get for free with an order. So here, whoa, there's your necklace, Deanne. It's always by my side while I'm doing lives and it just wanted me to let you know that it's here. <laughs> so let's put you back right there. It says, you guys, it says, be happy. <laughs> Look at that, Deanne gave me that um, many moons ago like last year sometime. I don't remember when, but <laughs> I can't put the date on it. But Sunshine and Rainbows is the designer paper. And so um, this rainbow right here, that guy, that's in your kit for your rainbow. And then this is the other piece we're using. And then here's the one we used on the last card. So that's where that designer paper comes from. And uh, let's see, we shouldn't need this anymore. Grab your kit and... Let's see what's in your envelope. So you guys should have everything you need um, in terms of paper products and embellishments. The embellishment that I pulled in is the iridescent rhinestone. And actually, this is a card that Chris and I made together back in December. Oh, so long ago already. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Huh. So bright and cheerful, you guys. Look at these colors. Like, doesn't it make you happy looking at this? Oh, okay, so there's your card base. You have a white mat for your inside, and then you'll have a pink mat. You'll have this three by three designer paper. You'll have this 
a die cut with a circle and then emboss with the stripes. So you can see the stripes on there. And that will go there. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> so I did not do the magic of TV. <laughs> so, oh, so everybody's got a little rainbow. And actually, some of you even have a half of a rainbow. And I saw in class last night, I think it was Kat. Kat took this half of her rainbow and instead of throwing it away, she put it on the inside of her card on the bottom. So you guys, some of you will have that. So this paper is six by six and it came up with two rainbows, three rainbows and two rainbows. So people who were on the ends with these got um, a half of a rainbow like that. Um, so Gwen says it's one of her favorite cards ever. That's so awesome. I'm glad you like it. It's so awesome when people love the designs that you come up or like that I come up with and Carissa and I have been stamping together. So what we come up with, so cool. So you guys, it's not hard fussy cutting. You don't have to stick your tongue out too much while you, <laughs> while you cut. Um, the, the inside is a little bit harder though. So you got to get in here. Um, I'll tell you when it comes to this one, I have a hard time figuring out how much white I want showing. I really don't want a lot of white showing. So I didn't leave much of a border. You can see there's just hints of white around the edge. If you don't want to see any, just cut it all off. But you will need to dye, fussy cut that. There is no dye for that. Oh, you guys, I did it again to myself. <laughs> I do this every time. <laughs> Hilda Nell, I will pay you back. Um, <laughs> these are your cards, Hilda Nell. So, uh, gosh, you guys think I learned my lesson. I always think I'm going to bring the punch down and punch out for you guys and show you the punches, but I never do. So this is what you guys have in your card kit. You have a long skinny white strip and a Bermuda Bay. Hilda Nell, I promise I'll pay your kit back with this after I <laughs> punch it later. Oh man, I did that to Jeannie Parker last time too. Okay, so you'll have your labels. So these right here are from... A punch. It's like a pick a something punch, pick a banner punch, or pick a something punch. Pick treasure. Pay. Uh, there's, the, the, yeah, half inch, three quarter inch, and this is actually from the punch, so that fits there. And what I've done for years, you guys can see, I punched out the hole, the one eighth inch hole. So let's just set that there for now. <laughs> and then we have clouds. So there should be four clouds. I see three. I have one on the table though, so I'll go grab that. Okay, what we try to do with this is we tried to make it look like rain coming down on our rainbow. So you can see the embossed is like stripes of rain and it's hard to see it, but we hovered over the top of them with a dauber with blue ink to try to make them look bluish, like rain coming down. So that's where the dauber comes in and you're gonna use that. <laughs> Thanks, Hilda <Nell. laughs> I, I have gotten good at bringing kits next to me to steal from. <laughs> oh, so this is the dauber and you have to be careful. The first time you get ink on it, I always go off the edge before I hover over the top. So here's a before and after. So you guys, there it looks, you can see it's white. Okay, as I put color on, I'm gonna come up on and show you. So I'm just hovering over the embossed image. I'm tr not trying to press very hard, but I'm trying to get see if you can see it when I pull this up you can see it turns it slightly blue it's got like a bluish hue to it and so that's gonna help them pop so you can see the lines you don't have to do this but it helps to make it look like rain hi Deb Norman on vacation probably getting lots of sunshine I love it so so that's what we've got now it's embossed and then it has blue, blue on it. It's hard to see it in the lighting, but there is a little blue on there. All right, so raindrops keep falling on my head. That is very hard to see, but there's a raindrop stamp in there and they're stamped ever so slightly around the edge. So you don't have to do a lot and you have to know if you go in too far, you're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna stamp closer to the edge and I'm gonna go 
And I bet I did second strength. Yeah, I probably did second strength. Oh yeah, I did second strength. So, well, now that I started in full strength, I'm gonna continue in full strength. Um, so Holly, the embossing folder, I say embossing, the embossing folder is on, if you go to the mini catalog, if you go to the very end, it's right here on page 86 or page 55, they're called stripes and splatters and there's stripes and splatters and splatters is what we used on the last card, the gumball card. And then this one is the stripes. And so what I'm doing is not being uniform. I'm trying to be more random. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. You were at Mallory Square. That's amazing. Did you have a beautiful red, orange, yellow sunset with purples and pinks and blues in it? That would be awesome. Hi, Sue Somerville. So you guys, I definitely didn't mean to stamp full strength. <laughs> you can now see them. They're there. Whereas on my sample card, they're very faint. They're there. They're stamped at second strength. So that's the difference between first and second strength. And then we'll leave that sit for a second. And how do we assemble this? I'm going to show you my method to my madness on this. So we need some dimensionals, which are right here. And I'm going to pop this entire thing up a lot. Um, don't want any saggy middles. And I'm going to actually cut off some edgings here to put along the side as well. So there and there. And I'm going to make sure that I don't put any near this circle on the left-hand side here because my rainbow needs to sneak in there. So we're gonna put one over there and one down further there. So that's what my back looks like. And we're going to put this now onto beautiful reds and oranges. Then of course, you had key lime pie, I love it. So when we were down in Florida, my Aunt Marge made homemade key lime pie for us. On the first night when we got there, we had homemade dinner. And I would have to say, that of all the meals that we had while we were out, my brother and I confirmed that we loved Marge's homemade dinner the best. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to stick this designer paper into my window. So that caught it on the back, right? You guys see that? But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put liquid glue here because I've already got dimensionals popped up where I want them. But now I need to add a little glue there. And... Then this will go on to my polished pink piece. So nice. Okay, so far so good. And now we can pop this up. And then this is going to go on our card base. Homemade is always the best. Yes, she made little, so they had, she had like, they're like chicken breasts, but cut thin, like smaller. They look like chicken tenders kind of, and she breaded them with an awesome breading. And then we had green bean almondine, green beans almondine. All right, so that's that. It was a very good meal. So then this guy, you're like, well, what about the rainbow? So you guys, I didn't want to put dimensionals there because now there's room for that to sneak in there. So we're going to put a dimensional here, and I think I got to cut some more. So we're going to put two dimensionals on the right side, so here and here, and then we're gonna put liquid glue on the left-hand side. So this is another example of where I'm using multiple adhesives on the same piece of paper. Yeah, it was so delicious. So that goes like this. Okay, you guys see what I did there? Instead of trying to figure out where the rainbow needed to go on the white, I put all the bottom down and then I put the rainbow in. And then, Let's see here. Let's hmm, stamp a sentiment. So we said this was going to be a thank you card. So let's grab. So the ink was polished pink. Oh, I got messy going on here. So we're going to do polished pink. And then thanks so much. And because it's photopolymer, I need this guy right here. <clears throat> so ink, inky dinky do. And I'm going to stamp it closer to the left so that can cut off the right. So you guys are probably wondering, why did she give us such a long piece? 
<laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. It was a scrap from the side. You remember I talked about scraps the other day? I ended up with all these half inch strips of white paper. Well, I figured if you end up with a longer sentiment, and I'm gonna do that again. I want it down a little. If you, if you have a little longer sentiment, then you can have more room. So if I give you guys just a small little piece and you want a, a, a longer sentiment, then you can work it. And this way too, if you have a strip, like some of you, it all random. So you guys, it was all different. This way too, you guys can snip how you want. So you can see here, I did 90 degree angles. You could angle this. You could banner fly the ends here. You can do whatever you want. For me, <laughs> I, I just liked it straight like that. But you have the ability, and if you have a little leftover, you could restamp it if you didn't stamp it so good. So you have choices. This will eventually make its way over to there. And we still have a little pink ink on our inside. This one is sending you a rainbow of happiness. So when you do this as a birthday or a thank you, it could be that sentiment works perfectly. And so it looks like a rainbow. So that's gonna go right there. And in the stamp set, it comes with hearts and little raindrops. And you could do either one. And on my sample card, I have little raindrops that are coming down from the rainbow. They look like tears though. And so part of me was like, well, do I want tears or do I want hearts? So I threw in these little hearts on the table too in case anybody wanted to use little hearts. Um, I'm gonna just put three little hearts right down there. And you know what, we're gonna go for it. Yes, Lynn, I'm so happy to hear that you're enjoying the marinating. <laughs> so um, Joy, uh, Joyce Corninac was here yesterday too. And she had class with me last night and she said the same thing. When you just stop rushing and allow the ink to hit the paper, the image comes out so much better and more clear. So you guys, we did hearts and we did raindrops. Look at that, we did them both. All right, so now I think we have our stamping done. Let's put these back away. We're done with the little dauber and glue. We could glue these two things. So this needs a little glue. That needs a little glue. Hi, Terry Costin. This one will go on our inside here and there. And then this one, we're gonna glue right next to where the hole is. And then you're gonna have to do whatever you did on the end of your white. You're also gonna have to do it on your blue. So if you kept it straight, you're just gonna go straight. Oh, you guys, you know what I just did? I just realized there's a, a rainbow right here. I feel like we should put the rainbow over the hearts <laughs> because it looks so awesome. <laughs> I love it. We're gonna have to put this guy right here. Sorry hearts, we're covering you up. We forgot we had a rainbow. Rainbows are happy, Woohoo! All right, there we go. Okay, we ended up with the rainbow. Now that goes away. So what I do for this little guy here you guys have about four inches of the open weave polished pink ribbon. What I generally do, this is not a knot, it's just wrapped around one time, and I don't want that to come undone. So what I will do is I'll take a glue dot, and then I will put that right there. Yes, Carol, it gives it much more color. Yay, hi, Lisa. Okay, then I'm gonna take my open weave ribbon and I'm gonna poke it so that the end goes through and grab it. And now because that glue dot is there, when I go to tie this, I'm not gonna tie a knot, which is double. I'm only gonna do this one time. And as I tighten this, it's gonna find that glue dot and it's going to stick to it and it will help make sure that it does not come undone. So I didn't wanna knot it, like so go one more time because that makes it more, it's more bulky then. And so just one time around, but having that glue dot helps to make sure it does not um, go away. <laughs> like, oh, come on, done. All right. 
So I'm missing a cloud. It's on the table. I will go grab it in a second here so we can finish this. We're going to cut some of these guys. Oh, you guys, look, I'm getting down to my last sheet here. So we're going to put a cloud for him. A cloud. A dimensional for that one. A dimensional for this. So the bigger cloud is going to go underneath the rainbow there. This one is going to scoot right there. This one. All right, now is the time to go get it. One second, guys. I had a random cloud on the table. Don't ask me why, but it's going on here. So little bits of glue, and one is on the blue up there, and one is up there. So these four clouds, two are the same size, and the other two are different shapes, size. Then this thing, I did glue this flat. There was so much popped up already that I didn't think that this needed to be popped up, but if you are inclined to pop it up, go for it. And then I've got this more to the, so I have this to the left more because this rainbow is kind of heavy over here. I could have centered it, but I thought it, I liked it a little bit more to the left. And then grab your ribbon scissors. And now that this is on, I always like to trim the ribbon tails after it's on so I know how to cut them and then this one we're gonna go that way and then last but not least oh we're getting to the end of these guys so I've got some different sizes in your kits I think I gave everybody a big a small and a medium I think so I tried to and so there's a little dude right there so Iridescent rhinestones are my fave for the embellishments in the new mini catalog. They remind me of cotton candy, just gems of cotton candy. <laughs> They're so iridescent -y. So that's what we got. We've got a very cheerful, sunshiny card um, that you could definitely use to brighten somebody's day. And look at the inside. Isn't that so cool? Love it. Okay. So we got two done, you guys, and we're gonna move on to our Ranunculus Romance card. So let's get this in here. And so, yes, I have this class one more time. It's on February 19th and it's in person. I have five people signed up and we're full because I only have five kits left to my name. So I have to save those for those five people. I'm amazed, I made 44 sets of these cards and I thought that was going to be more. I could have probably made four more, but I'm happy they're gone. Mom, Mom always says it. She, like, it's nice when they're just gone, <laughs> not here sitting around. So good deal. Okay, you guys, that is card number two. We have one left, and I think you're going to love it. If you need a beautiful like wedding card, anniversary card, birthday card, sympathy card, thank you card, this is a very elegant card that we're going to do next, okay? So we're going to flip back down. And we're gonna grab the kit. This one is featuring the Ranoculus Romance. So the stamp set is in the mini catalog. It's just a, the nice delicate stamps in this one. All right, I needed a drink. So we're using this stamp, the Just For You and the Rose. Um, Wink of Stella the Rainbow, yes, 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 queen. You batcha, Linda, that's a fabulous idea. So you can Stella the rainbow because it's designer paper and it will not bleed. If you had stamped this, so that rainbow, you could, there's all these like layers of the rainbow. If you would have stamped them, they would be all bleeding together right now. But because it's designer series paper, we can definitely Stella. Stella it up. Oh, good. Thanks, Linda. I forgot about Stella. Oh, my cloud. Get back over here, you little dude. Okay. So, I give it a little squish. Squish it real good. Okay. <laughs> there. We're back in business. All right, you guys. Here's our last one. It's called Ranoculus Romance. Only ink colors pulled in for this one are Misty Moonlight, you guys. The ink refill 
is on low inventory for the Misty. If you need it, you better get it. There's a lot of ink pads that are actually on low inventory. So we have three stamps we're using, two ink colors, and this is the die that got used. So let's look at your kits, you guys. So Misty is your base. It's all about the base. No trouble. So traditional eight and a half by five and a half. Score at four and a quarter. It's a vertical card, so make sure we keep it that way. The two mats here are both four by five and a quarter. White for your inside. And if you guys can see this one, that is the oh, Bouquet of Love Hybrid Embossing Folder. Annual, nope, mini catalog. And you guys, I did this card for the last monthly card class with the, it had a heart and it was red and pink. It used the same embossing folder. Nope, it's on the next page. It's part of this set on page 11. It's down here and that heart is what fits in there. Okay, so that's where that comes from. And I really wanted, so Chris and I made this one back in December too. Uh, what I really wanted is this edging to be seen. So like this all gets covered up for the most part. And the designer paper that got pulled in is from the Symbols of Fortune, which has the gold sprinkled throughout it, which is awesome. You guys have a strip if there is... If the refill is on back order, what set will be the... Well, Angela, what are you asking? If the refill is on back order, will the set be on back order too? Oh, what refill? Well, oh, the re-ink refill. No, 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 no. The, but it set... I don't, oh, the, you mean stamp pad? So the refill is a completely different item than the ink pad. So the, the Misty Moonlight ink refill is on low inventory, but the pad is not. And they're completely independent of each other. So you could have the ink refill go out of stock and still be able to buy the ink pad or vice versa, right? So they're independent items. So you're guessing no. Will the set go in back order too? No. And I don't know what you're talking about a set, but I think you might be referring to the stamp pad. <laughs> so, all right. In your kit here, you have a strip of Misty Moonlight, which is three quarter inch by five and a quarter. And that just will get put back there. You guys, the doilies. I think these are the best... Um, bang for your buck in the mini catalog. You get 30 doilies for $5, 10 Misty, 10 Basic Gray, and 10 Cinnamon Cider. The set of 10 refills. What 10 refills? Are you talking paper pumpkin? I, can you clear, Angela, I need you to clarify what refills you're talking about. I'm not remembering what, talk, I remember talking about the ink refill. Are you talking about the 10 ref are you talking about the 10 refills that you get for the color collection so if so that's one item if you're talking about the 10 ink refills that they come in a pack of 10 that i don't know if that's on separate that's a separate item so that could go out of stock but the individual bottle could still be okay so all items are always independent of each other um even when it comes to bundles you guys they have a bundle which has a stamp pad and a a die set. The bundle is one number, the die is one number, and the stamp set is one number. So like the bundle could go out, but the dies could be bought individually potentially because they still have inventory in their system as of just that die set and they have just the stamp set. Okay, so they're all separate item numbers. And sometimes they might move inventory to backfill, but um, they're all independent. So like the color collection. So the color is so random, guys. I'm not sure about the color collection because the color collection for ink pads are out of stock right now. I know this because Joyce tried to order three of them last night. So the color collection you couldn't buy, but if you go and put every single individual ink pad in your cart, you can get every one of them. So you can buy the whole collection, but you don't get the 10% savings um, by buying it as a collection. So that's a perfect example, Angela, that we could, Joyce could buy every ink pad, but she couldn't get it as the collection because the collection is out of stock. The collection comes in a box. And so it's packaged differently. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> and some other people might've been wondering too. So, okay. 
back to business. You guys have an insy tinsy little polka dot bikini. Nope, just a little um, misty moonlight bow right here that I made for you. Um, the little vellum is from the, um, the suite called Artfully Composed. It's the layering vellum designs. Hi, Rose. Um, I punched it out with a one and three quarter inch circle punch. So that goes there. This little tag is from the scalloped contours dies. And you guys will have in your kits, you will have a rose. So let's say this is the rose die cut. Hi, Barbara Gabby. And you will have this piece of white paper. So you have both of these. Um, one is if you want to try stamping this, if you just have the stamps. Um, Sean is now boarding on the Olympics. That's awesome, Barbara. That's so great to hear. Um, and otherwise, you have a piece of paper. So if you don't have the stamp and you want to use something else, you have a piece of paper in your kit to work with. And then also there is two other things, your foliage. So this is from the bow punch, gold foil, and then this is from the die that comes in this set right here. It's this die right here, and it's die cut with vellum. All right, so that's what you guys, and also you have some polished dots in your kit. So we'll be putting some polished dots on later. So, so many pieces, oh my goodness. Okay, so first things first, you might have to take your pokey tool and poke out some of those little circles that are in your tag. No problem. Go for it. Let's do some stamping though. So we are going to grab these pieces and go for our basic gray ink first and ink up your rose. It's called the Ranoculus Rose. It is apparently a real thing. Um, an olden time rose, I understand. And we're going to stamp that on the bottom right hand corner like that and then also you guys if you do your envelopes always remember to do your envelopes so um this rose fits in here and this is now where you're gonna go if you don't have this rose particular or if you have a different type of rose but whatever if you want to use this then you could also go die cut it or um you could try stamping and in my winter creative escape what we had people do is this, let's pretend it's die cut. We had people line up this rose. So this is pretend it's white. You can line this up right on here and do your upside down stamping, like I've shown in the past videos. So if you ever get die cut pieces and you have the stamp set and not the dies, you could really try to do that first. All right, so that's that. And then this is awesome. It's news script journaling something. I can't under letting eats the eye and I can't read it. Honestly, I'm not going to try to pretend to read it, but it's cool looking to me. <laughs> so you need to stamp off, boom, and then stamp on your little scalloped tag and it's at second strength. So it makes it just slightly lighter, lighter, lighter than full strength. And then we're going to grab misty moonlight and <laughs> whenever i see just for you i think of just for men so just for men here and that gets stamped right in the middle give it a second the ink will really transfer nicely to the paper and my ink pad's nice and juicy so it stamped the just for you really dark and nice so that's the misty action so that's it for that now by the magic of tv I pretend i just went and i ran this through the die cutter and now i have that <laughs> and that's how that goes so we can get a little glue happy so this piece here and our little white or our misty moonlight strip let's put some adhesive on them so that and now with this i'm going to go closer to my right side here and you guys this would have been great happy wedding day happy anniversary happy birthday thinking of you happy retirement happy everything <laughs> okay so that's our inside and now this you want to make sure so this kind of has a pattern going up so i'm going to make sure the misty goes on this side so i'm going to flip it over and line up and give myself about um, three sixteenths or an eighth of an inch, something like that. And that's adding a little extra color there on that side. Flip this over. And now we can put a little adhesive 
behind that. And that's gonna go, now make sure your heart is on the left side. And then this will get glued onto that. And so I'm gonna make sure my top is flush and my left is flush. And if I have extra designer paper or Misty, I can take my paper scissors and I'm just going to trim that off. I would rather have it be a hair long than a hair short. Okay, so now I'm flush. Now, it takes a little while for the adhesive to bond to this really rumply paper. <laughs> it's, it's rumbly because it's very highly embossed. Okay, so let's get that on here. Hi, Joanna. All right, Louise says it's a beautifully elegant card. It is when it's all done, it's so exquisite. Okay, so then this flips over and we're gonna adhere that to our card front. Now, I use a little bit more liquid glue when it's something bumbly like this. Otherwise, it doesn't quite stick really good. So that's gonna go right onto our card front, like so. So that Misty helps provide just a little border right down the middle. <laughs> this one, like this embossing folder, it really doesn't stick very well. So I gotta make sure that that, that adhesive, a little heat from the fingers helps to bond it. Okay, so our doily is kind of like, I bet you guys can't see because of the shininess. So the doily is about centered. So I've got the divot there and a divot there, kind of in the middle here. Now the layering vellum, you guys, the designer paper, this vellum paper, the font goes every which way on the paper. Like one section's this way, the next section's this way, and then this way. So some of the words are going that way, some of the words are going that way. So one side is lighter and you can't see the words so much. And the other side is, so like there you can see it's darker and then it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more frosty. So there is a front and a back to it. And you want to figure out how you want your circle to be on your doily. So my font is going up and down there and my words are, it looks like they need to be this way. So it'll go on my doily like this. And people asked last night in class, well, where do you put the glue? I don't put glue where you see it. So I won't put any glue over here, but on the left side, I will put the glue. So when I, I'm gonna glue this one first. So a little bit of adhesive to put our doily down. I want my humpty hump like that. So I have my divot and then a divot. And then this one, I want my glue more on the left, not the right. Otherwise you will definitely see it through the vellum. So don't worry that you can see that. When you squish it out, it kind of gets flat, but I want my words to kind of be straight. These on the side are going crooked, that's fine. All right, so far so good. Okay, so we have a vellum, and we have a gold bow, bow, whatever, and a sprig, I keep calling it a sprig, uh, and then you have this die cut. So people ask, well, how do you put this together? I would definitely not try to figure out how to glue what, all of these individually. Like, that doesn't seem to make sense for me. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm gonna prep the back of this with a, some dimensionals. So I'm gonna get it so they're on here. One, two is probably good. And my little leaf over here, I'm gonna get one right on my leaf. Then what I'm gonna do is hold the sprig, bow, whatever, thingy, foliage first. I'm gonna hold that here. It's coming out the side on the left. It's like you guys are putting together a floral arrangement. And then the little gold is there as well. And it just, it's peeking out. So now I'm gonna flip it over and I see where they're connected down here. And I'm gonna attach I think my tear and tape, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> it rolled up in my finger, that's what happened. Okay, so I'm gonna, it's, it's on there. Let's see if it'll stick now. Okay, so I took my tear and tape and I captured both of those leaves here. So it's all one piece now, not very secure, but I have it where it, I think it looks nice together. So now I'm gonna pick off those dimensionals, that'll help make them stick a little bit more. And then that one has a dimensional as well. That one got double layered apparently. So pick you off and put you back. <laughs> and 
I'm going to put one more behind this leaf. So it's kind of partially on the leaf, partially on the flower. So now everything's pretty secure. I've captured and caught my vellum. And now what can happen is this can get put. Now don't worry about that. If your paper curls like that, I'm going to show you how we're going to take care of it. No problem. Uh, so this is now going to go something like that. Okay. And our little label. Guys, dimensionals everywhere. <laughs> oh, funny. So I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on the back of this label. And we're going to secure that right near the base of our stem. And I'm trying to get this one little leaf to, to kind of like peek over the top of it. So it kind of is rolling it little leaf over the top and making sure that's kind of straight. Then this curling action. <laughs> if you can see on this card, I actually put a polished dot half on half off. <laughs> so you guys have some polished dots in your kit and what you might want to do, you have a big one in there. I'm pretty sure you have one big one. So you have three of them. But what you could do is take a big one and put it half on, half off, and then that held that down really nicely. And then I'm going to put a third one, second one, second one, and a third one, kind of like in a little triangle. Whoa, that went really fast. My internet thing went crazy and I froze. Okay, so we're going to flip back on me and see once if the video will catch up. Oh my gosh, you guys. My camera did a speedy Gonzalez type thing. It went brrr, very fast with my hands in the card. And then I switched it um, back. Hi, Sandy Zidune. So um, we're going to see if it flips back. Um, something about... Um, we're we're going to hope and hope and hope that it comes back. Oh, there it's back. Okay, cool. Whew. I think I moved too fast for the camera and it didn't like it. <laughs> so... We're going to just see if it catches up. Okay, it catched, it caught up. Perfect. So you guys are looking at my three polished dots right now. And, and it's kind of going weird. <laughs> we're we're going to, we're going to keep rolling with it though, you guys. Okay. Talk myself through it. <laughs> the words are going, um, but all of a sudden it's going to switch to my video face and hopefully you guys will be caught up. So Oh, Chris is back. Cindy's back. Okay. I know it was freezing for... Oh, did you guys just see it? It went really fast and then it kind of went haywire. So, okay. We are almost done with this card though, you guys. We made it all the way to the end and I think you're back now. Cool. So I'm going to flip the camera down and we're going to go back to where we were and we are almost done. So you guys, we put our three little polished dots on and then um, that held down the side and we have a little baby bow. So this ribbon is part of the suite of the New Horizons. And you just put a little glue dot down. And as I'm holding that, I pull my tails down. I'm going to not try to use any more glue dots on that. And we're going to grab the little ribbon scissors. And we're going to trim our tail that way. And we'll trim our tail this way. And... Stella! We got a Stella something. Hang on. We're going to put our little dots away. So the polished dots, you guys, I'm loving them. They're so cool. So on that card that Chris and I made over here, we talked about using, I haven't embellished these yet. I'm going to put the these guys on here to make it look like water bubbles kind of coming up. So that's what we talked about doing. Um, oh yes, Deb, you will love the doilies. You get 30 of them. 30 doilies for $5. I feel like it's a steal. For some reason, I feel like it's a steal. It's just crazy. So um, Stella, we can't forget Stella. What would you Stella? You know, you guys, you can Stella the ribbon. It does not hurt to Stella ribbon. I would not Stella the rose. When you Stella the rose, it's going to lose its definition. It's going to blend and smear it. So what you could do is you could Stella this little slip of paper up there. And down here, you could also Stella your doily. So don't be afraid to put some love on there. Get Stella happy on the doily. Um, you could, so sometimes I Stella 
as I'm working on things, and sometimes I stella at the end. You could also stella your little vellum foliage thing here. There you go. All right. Whew. I think we made it, guys. We're back. We are locked and loaded. We made our third card. So we're going to pull in all three of them and see what you guys like the best. Okay, so like I mentioned yesterday, or yesterday, in class yesterday, people loved the gumballs, but this Renaculous Romance card was like a close second. Um, people liked the rainbow. It was very cheerful and like fun, but like there's something about this gumball that is super cool. And then this one's so elegant and so pretty. And they're not complicated, you guys. I, I, I mean, designing them can seem complicated, but when you get kits from me, it actually... Oh, Carissa goes for the Renaculous Romance. Marsha says all three. Um, when you get kits from me, I make it super easy for you to be creative and crafty without having to do a lot of thinking. I mean, ultimately, if you do an online class with me, you have to basically do your own stamping and then assembly. So you need stamps, inks, and adhesive is what you really need. Hi, dear. Oh, <laughs> Tyler just opened the door. He's home. Yeah, he got his hair cut, or I should say his ears lowered, and so he got back early, so it's very cool. So you guys love them all. The gumball's your favorite. Romance card is just exquisite. Yes, Louise, I would have to definitely agree. Um, and says my kids are always great. So you guys, I love, <laughs> I had the greatest day with Carissa today designing and making cards. And it's just, it's like therapy for me, you guys. I, I just, I don't, so I was talking about in a live the other day that it's been weird. Um, or I said it last night in class. I can't remember, but I officially started my leave of absence on Monday, right? But I'm so ingrained to think about emails and work all the time. And so for the last three days, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every every like few minutes, 15 minutes, it's like, check your email, see what emails are coming in, answer emails. And that's what I've been thinking of the last three years, three days, like but for work work. And so today was the first day sitting with Carissa designing that I did not feel like I needed to check my emails, not even my personal emails. <laughs> so you guys, it was like, whew, so stamping is therapy, like to me, it like takes your mind off of everything. For me, it does anyways. So, um, so when you get card kits from me, you guys, I try to make stamping very easy and enjoyable. I try to make the classes fun for you and that you guys don't think about whatever you were thinking about before the class started, that you can take your mind off of something, you know, and have less stress for a moment in your life. So that's what it's all about. So Barb loves the romance one. Um, yes, yeah, it is awesome that Carissa can come up and she takes time off because she's got a lot of time that she can take off because she's been banking it for a long time. So, so it works out good. And we have very similar artistic styles. And so we just feed off of each other. So it's awesome. Very, very awesome. Okay, so... A gumball was used in your local class today, but you had to miss the class, and now you got to see it in my class. Awesome, Linda. Very, very cool. All right, so I'm glad that you guys think that the classes are awesome, and Kathy says that I do as well. I love it. So, you guys, before class, I was able to pull the names for the... I forgot to do the Sweet Talk cards. I probably should have done them, but... Um, I definitely did the um, the the bloom cards from last week. Okay, so we're gonna announce who the winners of those cards are. And people ask, well, how do you um, do the drawing or how do you get your name in? So when you guys comment on the video, what I do is I pull up the video after about a week and I go to a certain spot in the video and I scroll through the comments and I put my finger on a name <laughs> and that's how I do it. I kind of like shut my eyes and pick. And that's how I draw the winners. And so it's, it's random and it helps when you comment. So if you comment more often, your odds go up because your name goes into like the comment section more often. So, um, so when you comment that you shared, that helps. And when you comment on the cards or you comment throughout class, that helps because your name has more chances of going through that like spinner wheel type essence kind of, um, for getting picked. So that's how that works. So, all right. Um, so also you guys reminder, if you can sign up for any classes, once you know that you want to take them, um, all we got to do is make sure we get your name on the class list. That's the most important thing. And we can always figure out everything else after the fact. So payments, orders, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, the important thing is I know you want to take the class so that I make sure I have a set of card kits for you and that I don't have to tell you no. 
All right. So are you guys ready? Lisa says she loves the cards in my classes, especially all the detail. Oh, I know I love detail. Ooh. So I'm a detail card person. <laughs> you guys figured that out, I think. So, all right, drum roll, you guys. I'm going to flip down and we're going to do the bloom card. So, da -da -da -da. winner, winner, chicken dinner. So these were the cards I made last week with you guys. And so this PDF tutorial is now available for purchase in my online store. Uh, you can get it free with a purchase. Um, or you can pay the fee, um, and it includes the pictures, measurements, and written instructions on this one, on, on, on all four of these cards. So, Becky Gandolfo, G-A-N-D-O-L-F-O. Um, you are a winner of that card. If you guys know anybody who has won a card, you should definitely um, let them know, because it if they don't see it or hear it, then I never know where to send their card to them, and it sits on a pile until I hear from them. So, it happened last week with the Marshas. So Marsha told Marsha that she won and now Marsha got a card in the mail. So <laughs> otherwise Marsha might not have won. And it's really funny because one's M-A-R-C-I-A and other Marsha is M-A-R-S-H-A and they stick out for each other. So, all right, next one, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I love this card so much. It looks like this, opens like that. And the winner is um, Corinne Bouvia or Bavia, Corinne, C O R I N. And E, Bouvia, B U V I A. You're the winner of that card. Da, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, this was another little fun fold with a little bosey on the side. And that's how that one opens. And then the little bow holds that down. Winner is Doris Munson. Woohoo, Doris, I have your address, so I know where to send your card. Da, 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 da. Winner, winner, chicken dinner of my favorite. You guys didn't get to see me finish watching this one live. But you could go back and watch the replay. So my video cut out on me at like 50, an hour 58, something like that. And I had 10 minutes left. And then this, um, in the 10 minutes, I made my favorite card. This was my favorite. So if you guys missed last week, so if you missed last week and you missed like the last 10 minutes, that's where I made this card. You can fast forward, go to my replay, fast forward to an hour 58, and then you can just watch the last of the 10 minutes. And then you'll be like complete with that one in case you missed it. So, okay. So the winner, winner, chicken dinner of my favorite card. Oh, Doris is watching. Yay. This one goes to Karen Stagg. Um, Karen, I have your address too. So I know where to mail these two beauties off to. But for these two cards, I will need Corinne's and Becky's addresses. You girls, if anybody knows them, please reach out. I'm going to also do my post in the mornings with the scheduled for the winners. So you guys see that also. Um, whew, okay, so that's everything in a hot minute, right? <laughs> so congratulations to our four lucky ladies who won some cards, some happy mail. Oh, there's a different, oh, there's Connie. Oh, she loves all the cards. I'm so creative. Thank you so much. I appreciate hearing that. Um, I try. I I try. I have had some really good um, friends, mentors, idols, I guess you could say. The very, I surround myself with some fabulous stampers and they know who they are. I tell them. And um, I, I, I attribute a lot of my last five to 15 years of stamping from, from a few key people. Um, and also looking at catalogs, looking at Pinterest, I, I pull things together. I've gotten an ability to just pull different aspects from all different like cards and take things that I like from them. So that's part of, that's half of a battle is designing the cards. So I can't always say I can take all the credit myself because I get lots of inspiration from other people, you guys. I just bring it to you is what I do. I, I bring it home to you guys. <laughs> so I'm a um, mediator or something. <laughs> I'm the intermediator or whatever. <laughs> so perfect. All right, you guys, I don't know what I'm forgetting except for I feel bad don't make me feel bad. I forgot. I didn't forget this. Okay. All the scavenger hunts are right here. Okay. I had a day of designing with Carissa and I haven't graded them yet and I need to. So just keep being patient with me guys because they will be graded in the very, very near future. And then that's um, the newsletter will be shared with you guys. So I appreciate you, your patience with me because Oh, it's like, you think that I'd have all the time in the world, but like running all of this and, um, it's, it's more work than you really want to think about. But you guys, I have, I don't know if I can show you guys. Um, if I flip this this way, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, it's not going to be easy to make out, but I have, oh, it's going to be hard. Oh, but you can see here. 
There. All of those right there on the table. Boom, 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 boom. On the counter up there. Everything, what we worked on this week, we got, so on Friday, 660 cards were kitted up. And then on Tuesday, my mom and I kitted up Heart and Home and Celebration Who I Rot and Stamp a Stack. And so all of the Stamp a Stacks are going to be ready to mail tomorrow, Heart and Home and Celebration Who I Rot. So we've been working behind the scenes, getting all your kits ready for classes. And so when my mom's here or Chris is here or somebody's here, that kind of takes precedent versus grading scavenger hunts. So <laughs> class door prize. Woo Jan. Oh my God, you're an amazing girl. I would have forgotten. Okay. So, you guys, so I appreciate your patience with the scavenger hunts. I, I, I try. I try. I try my best. So, who paid for class with an order? So, I got to just, you're going to have to see my forehead for a second. One, two, three. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Four, five, six. Ha, ha, ha. Do you guys know who that is? Seven, eight, nine. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> the count. Ten, eleven. Well, the count, count Dracula, you guys remember from Sesame Street. One, ha, 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 two. Okay, so we have 11 people who placed orders to get this class for free. And so what I do is those people that placed orders, and Deanne, <laughs> you were one of them. So in case you're wondering, Deanne, you're number three. <laughs> because because you um, reminded me so nicely. That's awesome. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to flip the camera down. So you guys, this is my class sign-up sheet. This is my holy grail of keeping track of my life with the classes. So honestly, this is how I keep track of stuff, right? So there you go. Um your name has to get on this list and then you get kits mailed to you. That's how it works. <laughs> All right. So we have to go here to um, random number generator. We had 11 people. And so I'm going to put 11. When I hit the word generate, a number is going to pop up. Number seven is Carmen Melendez. You are a lucky duck, Carmen. So Carmen just won the celebration board number five drawing. I don't know what, oh, Wednesday, yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Whenever we did the drawing. So Carmen, you won that. And now Carmen won a door prize from class. That's how it works, you guys. <laughs> sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. <laughs> so awesome. So let me pull back to the video and see if I had anything else that came in. Um, I knew I loved you. I used to the count with my kids. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so funny. And do you guys remember the, the yip, yip, yips and the nope, nope, nopes? So <laughs> over... Um, New Year's Eve weekend, we had to pull up the YouTube video from Sesame Street of the yup, 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 uh, nope, 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 uh, cow. <laughs> you guys, you, you think I'm crazy, but if you watch Sesame Street, you would probably remember that. And if you don't remember it, you can go look up the yip, yip, yips and the nope, nope, nopes <laughs> on YouTube. All right. Fun stuff, right? Fun stuff. Okay. So we got to keep it highly entertaining, right? Okay. Yay, Carmen's still watching. Awesome. Um, your kids used to use towels and dance with the count with one of the Sesame Street. Perfect. Yay. Yes, we watched our Sesame Street too growing up. So um, the yip, yip, yips and the nope, nope, nope. So they were like the little Martians, whatever, that the phone kept ringing and they didn't know who, if they should answer it or not. So yeah, fun stuff. Okay. Well, thank you, Deanne, for helping me to remember to do the door prize drawing. I'm going to continue to do that as long as I have prizes in my vault to share. So all right. <laughs> so congratulations to all the winner, winner chicken dinners. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all who registered for this class. I really appreciate it. Um, the other thing too, that I started, I'm very entertaining. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I just try to make you guys laugh, right? <laughs> so and I make myself laugh in the interim. Um, so I think you um, actually use you get less wrinkles when you smile versus frown is what I understand. So that's why we have to keep the smile, <laughs> right? So, um, okay. Oh, one thing I started to do with you guys who get emails from me is starting with sometime in January, I started to follow up with a follow-up email and I put this class information into an email and I share the Facebook links and the YouTube links. And so in case you missed the video, um, a few days later, I follow up by usually the, like three days later, I follow up with that email. So it helps remind in case you missed watching the video, it shares the links with you. And I'm sending that out to my whole email distribution group. So um, if anybody is not getting emails from me currently and you want to be, a couple ways you can do it. You can just send me a message email, text, Facebook message, however, um, to my Cards by Christine or to me personally on 
Facebook, Christine Bertram, and ask me to be put onto your email list or um, onto my email list with your email address. So give me your email address or you can go into my website and you can sign up for my newsletter. Um, by signing up my, for my newsletter, it means you get my emails. And if ever you don't want that, all you have to do is click the unsubscribe button and you don't get them anymore. So that works if you get too many emails from me. But then what happens is you'll start to see emails from me about upcoming classes in case you want to get kits or if you um, hear about sales or the sign up promotion or anything that I've got going on is when I email. So fun stuff. So got to keep it entertaining. <laughs> All right, you guys. Whew, we did good. We kept it under two hours for tonight, which is pretty normal. <laughs> two is always a good number. So my favorite number. Um, you would know if you play bingo with me, I would jump up and down and get excited with number two. So, Okay. Um, I think that's about it. So I'll be watching as emails come through and messages come through. If you guys want to sign up for classes, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And if questions, always reach out and ask. I'm here to help you guys. Um, don't be afraid. Um, and don't ever feel like you're a bother or a pest. I hate when you guys say, I'm sorry to bother you. Just ask the question and all is good. And I love to help. So don't ever think you're ever a pest or a bother. bother. You promise me that you guys. Okay. So, all right. On that note, I'm going to sign out and wish you guys lots of sunshine, love, and hugs, all right? Um, what's happening next is um, you probably won't hear from me much until Tip Tuesday. Uh, and if you didn't see Kelly's Technique Thursday, you can catch the replay. But otherwise, we'll catch you early next week, all right? Or a scavenger hunt if I get that graded, okay? Um, I'll do a quick live for that when I get that done. So, all right. Love you guys. Bye.